Hope and excitement continues to build within the local South Sudanese community as the newly formed country prepares to celebrate its first Independence Day on July 9th. Different groups are reviewing their capabilities to be able to present various items during the ceremonies. Here, students from all over Juba gathered in a poem and song competition that will give them an opportunity to participate in the long-awaited independence ceremony, which is just days away. During the elections and the referendum, everything was for people after 18, uh, older than 18. And we thought the independence should involve even children and give them expression, give them a voice. And that's why we thought of organizing competitions with all the schools and parishes and all the children in Jupa uh, on song competition, poem competition, drawing competition and drama competition. The students presented poems and songs that talk about the independence and how it was gained. They praised matters lost during the two-decade civil war between the North and Southern Sudan. The competition, sponsored by UNICEF and organized by a local radio station called Bakita, saw more than 100 pupils present their entries. The organizers see the competition as a chance to give children a voice and an opportunity to participate actively in this historical event. We have uh, this exciting initiative called So Thai, My Voice which is the first initiative with some partners like Radio Vaquita and others who are facilitating spaces and strategies for raise children voices and give the platforms so these voices are heard for the, pol the policy makers and for the parents and for all the public opinion. Uh, we really trust in children voices because they really know what's going on, what their lives went through and they have all the expectations for this new nation to be built better for their lives. Every child gathered for the competition was given a notebook to keep a journal for the first 100 days of independence. After 100 days, children will submit their journals and a prize will be offered to those who succeed to write on their journals from July 9th to October 17th. They will write about the political situation, the economics, the religion, among others. After 100 days, the children will submit their journals, and it is from these journals that they will find out if their interests and expectations have been met by their leaders. There are so many things as Southern Sudanese we need to change after 9th July. Like education, we need our education to improve. Like health. We need our health to improve. The number one thing here which we deal with in Sudan is respect. And without respect, we really can't live and treat each other well. Like if there's no respect from starting from uh, the streets, even to the government, then the country will not work. Like these people doing corruption, I see that they have no respect for anyone except for themselves. Because they really don't care for who they're hurting or what they're doing to the country. By doing this corruption, not only are you hurting uh, yourself, even though you may not realize, but you're also hurting your country deep down inside. For it's the money from your country which you are eating, and also the people in your country which you are hurting. Like they said, for these hundred days, just to daily, just things that I see which are wrong, or things which I think about, or anything which I want to be fixed in this land of ours, I will write it down and make sure to bring here so maybe some steps can be taken for like a, a process in order to try and help us and make this country a better place for all of us. For Sudan Votes, I am Mavis Birunji in Juba, South Sudan.